Ever wondered why certain products seem too good to be true? In this video, we shed light on how companies, including Apple, use clever tactics to make us pay for more for what seems like a better experience. But first, if you like this video, consider subscribing. It really helps. In 2016, Apple told the world they were removing the headphone jack to make the newly released iPhone 7 water resistant. They told us all this was a courageous move to move on from the old, and that this would be a better experience for everybody. Immediately after that, they announced the AirPods, a pair of wireless earbuds that solved the problem of no headphone jack. Apple added lots of convenient features too, including simple pairing and intuitive controls. There was certainly a little backlash for removing the headphone jack, as selling the customers the solution to a problem they invented, but it quickly faded as AirPods became one of the most popular headphones on the market. The AirPods did certainly come at a massive price increase from their wired predecessors. At a starting price of $160, it was a hard pill to swallow at first, but the market quickly gave in. In 2020 alone, Apple made $12 billion in revenue on just AirPods, proving that they were right. Apple told us it was a better experience, and $12 billion of our hard-earned dollars went straight to Apple. And why shouldn't they? With the release of the AirPods Pro and the improvements over the years in both hardware and software, why wouldn't people want that? The AirPods are a true success story with no hidden gotchas, and everyone has loved their AirPods ever since day one and will continue to do so forever. But have you ever heard that sound? That's the sound of the battery dying in the AirPods. Every four to five hours, you have to take them out of your ears and pop them into the charging case. Luckily, they charge pretty quick, and you can get away with doing that about four times before needing to plug in the case. But the more frequently you do that, the less time they will last outside of the case. And eventually, they just won't work anymore. The reason for that is the battery technology within them. Lithium-ion batteries are good at holding lots of charge in a compact size, but they are ultimately disposable. Previous iterations of this technology, including iPods, Android phones, and laptops, would allow you to replace the batteries as it began to decay. But as manufacturers made devices thinner and thinner, we lost access to that ability. Sure, you could still unscrew the case of a 2016 MacBook Air, but it was certainly more work compared to the 2006 MacBook. With the disposable nature of the batteries within the AirPods, they will only last two to three years in general. That means that for most consumers that only buy the replacements when they need it, have cycled through at least three pairs of AirPods since they were originally announced. Solely because the batteries don't last that long over time. For that one consumer, Apple has gotten them to spend $450, assuming they went with the cheapest option each time. The thing is, it doesn't get better when you add more cost. AirPods Pro have even less battery life per session due to active noise cancelling, making them degrade even faster. It is noticeable for most people just after 4 months that they aren't lasting as long. Releasing in 2019 at $250, most consumers that got the AirPods Pro have already spent $500 just to replace them at minimum. That's not even considering losing them or damaging them in any way at all. That's best case scenario for these things. AirPods estimated cost of manufacturing is around $60 per pair, which means they make $90 per sale. So it's no wonder Apple has made so much money on these things. They're designed to be replaced. And the only way to ensure that they are replaced is to remove the cheaper option and convince everybody that your experience is the best one. Now let's look at what they replaced, wired headphones. Apple still sells earpods for $20, which means that right off the bat, they're not making nearly as much per sale compared to AirPods, even if the earpods were completely free to make. But if they were free to make, Apple wouldn't have gotten rid of the headphone jack. The markup just isn't as extreme, which is why they invented the problem of removing the headphone jack. And when I say they invented this problem, I mean they really invented it. There were phones that were out years before the iPhone 7 that were water resistant that also had a headphone jack and replaceable batteries, like the Galaxy S5. The headphone jack was never a weak point for water to get in, and the proof is in the lightning port. That's the same connection style as any headphone jack would be, just contact pins. They convinced everyone that they want to make your phone better, but they're going to take away some ancient feature that no one wants anyways to make it better. 
Then they said, but just in case you want headphones, here's some wireless ones that we made that work really well. Meanwhile, they just improved their markup from $15 a pair to $90 a pair, and they left no option for the cheaper one. They also ensure that the $90 markup price will repeat every two to three years, unlike the $15 ones, which can really take a beating before they don't work anymore. This is just one example of companies that are designed to grow, even at the cost of a worse customer experience. You can prefer AirPods to wired headphones, I don't care. I definitely see the arguments that they are good, and I see also the arguments that say that they're bad. I've seen lots of folks say, I get wired headphones tangled in my pocket, and yeah, I have to do that now and again. But I have pairing issues far more than I've ever had to untangle headphones, or just deal with straight up dead AirPods. That's way more common than untangling my headphones. And at least when I take the 30 seconds to untangle my headphones, I can listen to music. I can't say that with a dead pair of AirPods. I've been using the same EarPods since 2019, and I have other wired headphones that I got back in 2013 that still work just as good as day one. AirPods cannot reach those lengths of time. They're not designed to. If you're passionate about supporting independent creators and you want to take your engagement to the next level, consider becoming a paid member of the channel. As a member, you'll become an integral part of the community. If not, either way, your support means the world to me. As always, keep it civil in the comment section below, be kind to each other, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.